Hello friends and welcome to this crochet tutorial where I'm going to show you how to create this axolotl handbag. It has an opening up top, felt, mouth, and eyes. Everything is crocheted. Perfect for the beginner. We go through it step by step. So if you're interested in this axolotl handbag, let's get started in creating this axolotl handbag with me. My name is Garnet. Let's begin. The materials and tools that we're going to be using to make this axolotl purse. Here I have a light pink for the body. I have a darker pink for the outside of the gills. I have two strands, approximately 12 inches long, for the eyes. I have two strands, approximately 12 inches long, for the outside of the eyes. Two stitch markers. I have a 6.0 millimeter crochet hook. A pair of scissors. A tapestry needle. I have a black piece of felt and we're going to be using a hot glue gun. I have two skeins here to make it easier just to pull from um, the two to have one. Otherwise, what you would want to do if you only have one, you want to take from the center and then also take the outside one that wraps around and join those two together to create the body. The purse is made with two strands of worsted weight yarn throughout. So here I've already taken some out and uh, coiled it up into a light um, stack of yarn here so that way as we're doing our stitches our tension will not be interrupted by constantly pulling yarn from our skeins. So to begin we're going to start with a magic circle and leave yourself a tail approximately six inches. Okay. And then chain one loosely into our magic circle. Place 12 double crochet. To make a double crochet, place your finger on the loop, yarn over into the loop, pull up a loop. We have three on our hook, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. Continue till you have 12. Let's pull our magic circle closed. Pinch in here and pulling the tail. At the top of the first, we're going to place a slip stitch. chain one loosely in the same stitch two double crochet in each stitch around two double crochet Now 
and continue around. I'll meet you at the end of the row. Right here is our first double crochet of the row. So right here at the top, we want to slip stitch to close this row off. Chain one loosely, make your loops a little large, into that same hole, two, double crochet. You're going to find that at the beginning of each row, we will start off with two double crochet into the same slip stitched location. Our next stitch will be one double crochet. And this is the repeat for this row. Increase, which is two double crochets in one stitch, and then one double crochet. Increase. And one. Repeat this all the way around and then slip stitch into the first double crochet of the row. You may have noticed that we haven't done anything with our tail. Please do not cut this. We're going to weave it in after we get all our rows done. So moving on to our next row, we want to do a chain one loosely, two double crochets into that same stitch, this is our increase, always remember the two in there is an increase. Now this time we're going to go one and one and then we'll go increase one one. So we're going to add on from the previous row where we had one, now we're going to add two. In the process of this, we're going to be adding on on every row. The next row will have three and the last row will have four. That's just to give you a heads up. So here we have our increase and two double crochets in the next two stitches. So one and one. Increase, one double crochet, one double crochet, continue around, and then slip stitch into that first double crochet that we made at the beginning of the row. Chain one, increase. One, two, three. Increase, one, two, three, all the way around. getting kind of big isn't it okay so this will be our last row let's start off with our increase one two three four
increase. One, two, three, four. Okay. All the way around. So I've come to the end of the row, but let's not slip stitch yet. We want to cut about six inch tail and then pull it through. So with our needle, let's go ahead and place our yarn in it. Normally we would come here, but this stitch that we're going to create is going to cover this. So go to the next one, skipping this into the next one, pull it through, and then on the back, go through those two and snug it up so that they all look the same size. Then on your back, come on down. See these little lines right here? We're going to weave in and out of them. Just picking up the back loop of the stitch. And this will help secure the finishing up here. Then go over this stitch here. If you go back through here, it'll fall apart. You want to go over this and then weave back around. And then we're going to do that one more time. Okay, stretch it just a little. Oh, here, let's go over here to this side so that'll help close that hole. And then go over that first one, go over that, and we'll come back through here. And that'll help lock it in. For our magic circle, You'll notice that it's coming out this way so we're going to go around just picking up the back side of those stitches it may be a little tight but if you were to cut this the magic circle will loosen all of this and then all your work will not work so all those stitches would fall apart. I usually go around it about three times and then um, I lock it and then go back one row. So here, well, this is my, completed my third. Make sure it's tight. I'm gonna lock it. Okay, and then we're going to go back the other direction just to hide the end. All right, so here we have one. We need a second one. So please create the second one and let's go back to where we started and create the second one. So in the making of this bag, I tried many ways to hide the join of the rows. We're going to end up placing the mouth over the top of this. So if you can line it up so that you see how it is right here, so like it's almost straight across we're going to be placing our mouth over that. Okay, so let's join the two together. This is the wrong side. 
this is the wrong side, this is the right side, and the right side on the other side. Okay, so to make things a little easy, let's go ahead and start right up here. So from where this row is, follow the line, let's count up. So we have our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's place our stitch marker in there to hold it. And what we're, what we're going to do here is determine how big we want our opening. I usually do 18 stitches. So, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, I was right on the money, huh? Okay, so let's place our stitch marker in the first one. Now, to be accurate, you want to count... 18 over on the other one and then take your stitch marker and complete that closure So with our um, doubled uh, Body color of the the background here. Let's place a slip knot on the hook And in this row, we're going to be doing single crochets. So we're going to start off in the same row that um, our stitch marker is in. So go ahead and place it through the two on the front and the two on the back. And then you can remove your stitch marker. We're starting off what is called a standing single crochet. So we have our loop on the hook closest to us. We inserted our hook. So now we're going to draw the yarn through those two layers. Okay, we have the two loops on our hook. So yarn over and pull through. Let's snug it up just a little bit and then tighten the tail. And since this is the beginning one, we want to place a second single crochet in there in the same stitch. Okay. Now we're going to do one single crochet all the way around through the two layers, making sure that we pick up the next stitch that is needed. Always check, don't assume that it's going to be right. Okay? And make it loose enough to conform to the curve. You don't want it too loose, but just enough to make sure that all the loops are the same. Okay? So continue all the way around till you get to here where you're going to place two single crochets into that last one as well. So after completing the two single crochets in the last stitch, leave yourself a long enough tail. Let's finish this off. Let's take our tapestry needle and bring these ends to the inside of the purse. I'm following the single crochets down. I went down one, two, three, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and then I'm going to tie it with a, a knot here on the next one. And 
and then I'm going to weave these ends into the single uh, the single crochets here just a few stitches just to hide the loose end I'm going to do this same thing to the other side. Okay, so let's take note of this is the back side of the single crochet. You see the little V's. This is the front side where the two lines are next to each other. We want the front lines facing up towards us. And we're going to start putting on our gills. So, here's our two single crochets. We don't want to count the end one. So we're going to go one, two, well, let's see, wait a second. Skip the first two. So on the third one, count back nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so for the other side, okay, we're going to skip one, two, three, or skip these two. So here's one. Let's just mark that as the first one, okay, because we can always do the nine going down. So you notice that we have our stitch markers in different places. Let's start with the one that's at the lowest point down. Let's go ahead and place a slip knot on our hook with about a six inch tail. Those six inch tails are for weaving in the ends. Okay, so for this row, we're going to start off with a standing half double crochet. <clears throat> but what we're going to do is we're going to go through the bodies of the purse, not the single crochet. So we're going to be going over these single crochets. So here's my stitch. So place your finger on your loop, yarn over, insert into that hole, draw up a loop, snug it up if you need to, and then yarn over and through all those loops on the hook. Okay, that starts us off. So here's one, two, three, continue till you have nine, and remember you'll have these two left open, so you'll stop right here. After doing nine, let's chain one and turn our work. Now we're going to go under this loop as well. So we're going to go through the top two and under this one. We don't want it to look like a row by row uh, gill. So here's one under that one. Two. Okay, so continue to the end. You'll have nine half double crochets. At the end of the second row, let's chain one and turn our work. Okay, this will be the last row of the gills. This first one, we're going to skip this one. In the second one, we want to go under this loop. Notice how it doesn't look like a row the way we're doing it. So skip the first one. In the second one, under that loop, we're going to do 
five double crochets. Okay, in the next loop, slip stitch. So we're going to insert, drop a loop, and then just pull it right through. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing again. Skip this stitch and into the next stitch, five double crochets. and five okay slip stitch so we have two let's do our third one skip the next stitch five Double crochets into that next stitch. Okay, and in our last stitch, slip stitch. Okay, I'm going to leave a tail. Okay, so let's take our tails and weave them into this row onto the back side. So this is the back side. So let's go under stitches here okay and stretch it just a little so that the ease will fit go over that first one and then come back And then we'll do the same for the other side. So we want to come down here. Okay, and then over one and come back through. So here's our first gill. Now let's go ahead and do, we're going to start here on this other side and do the nine half double crochets. Remember to leave a tail. Okay, so let me get you started. Let's take out our stitch marker. Okay, so your finger on the loop, yarn over, one, two, into that third one, okay, and snug everybody up, there we go, here's our second. Okay, 
So we already basically know what to do. Nine, chain one, nine, and then our scallop row. We'll skip the first one. Five double crochets, slip stitch, skip the next stitch, five double crochets, slip stitch, skip the next stitch, five double crochets, slip stitch, and then weave in your ends. If you need referral, go back to the video on how to add that. Looking kind of cute, isn't it? Alrighty, so the next color we're going to use is the darker pink. We need two strands to start off with. So I'm going to encourage you to find your center pull, which on this one I have no idea. I'll have to go digging for it. And then the outer one. Okay, we'll start with a slip knot. We'll join here on the front right here at this stitch before this uh, gills start. It took some digging, but here's the center and here's the outside one. And we're gonna use these two together. Okay, so let me get it out of the way. Okay, so we are starting right here Here's this single crochet, and we're going to place our hook right there next to it and start off with a standing single crochet. This will sew in on the inside when we're done or along it. Okay, so we want to go into the first row here, single crochet. And into the second row. And don't be afraid to pick up some of the stitches. We don't want it slipping and sliding during use. Okay, so here we are at the five. Go up to the third one, single crochet, and at the top there, chain two one, two, and then through that top chain and the front part of the single crochet, do a slip stitch. And that makes a little um, look on the top there. Then we're going to go through the next two. Okay, and then this one, you see this half double crochet way down here? It's straight down. Okay, so let's take and wrap it twice. Oops, I missed it. It was down here, this one. Okay, you want to pick up the front loops of that half double crochet. Okay, so we have four loops on our hook. We're going to go through two, through two, and through two. And that'll take us back to the height that we need. We're going to skip that slip stitch and go directly into the first of the five double crochets. Single crochet one, two, and here's our third one. Okay, so let me show you what we have so far. Now we're going to chain two and then go through the chain and the front part of the single crochet and with slip stitch. Okay, single crochet two more times. Okay, so we're going to do this again. 
you see this half double crochet down here straight down so yarn over twice on our hook and insert the hook into the top half of that half double crochet yarn over pull up a loop we have four okay so yarn over through two yarn over through two and yarn over through two okay so we come back here here's our little slip stitch skip that and then three single crochets chain two and through the top of that chain and the front part of the single crochet and we're doing a slip stitch okay single crochet single crochet all right so let's stop here and how many did we do before we did the pico so right here we did our third so here's one two three four five and our sixth one is on our work so we want to duplicate that so we have one two okay and our sixth one will be right here on our work so one in between those rows get a little tight okay so here's where our two single crochets are I'm going to go through all of that okay so that puts us back into the body and then we'll do it one more time okay now remember anytime you do crochet you always have to reshape it so here's our first gill now before we move on we're going to do our strap and of course you see my yarn is tangled up so <laughs> let's go ahead and pull out um, however long you want your strap to be as we see here I probably got about mm, 12 inches however long you want it to be and then we're gonna go ahead and make our strap from there but we're gonna do it as a chain so let me pull out some more yarn and then we'll we're gonna move on all right now that I got my yarn in order hopefully okay so let's start chaining we're gonna chain the length that you want your strap to be if you want 20 inches you want 30 inches the length of this needs to be what you want it to be so go ahead and do that and then we'll move on to what is next So I did mine, um, this is more like an arm length for whoever chooses to use this. Make sure that your chain is not twisted. Okay, and then we're going to join right here into this, um, the first stitch right here. Now I'm not going all the way through, I'm just going through the top of the, the first stitch. We'll do that down here later. Okay, and then turn your work. Now in 
in making a chain you see how you have this loop on the back and you have the chain on the front okay so what we're going to do is you want to place one single crochet in each one of those back loops now this first one might be a little tight So you might have to go through the chain or you can do like me and just go to the second one <laughs> okay so we want the back loops once you get started it's not hard it's just that when you got these first ones they always seem to be the hardest okay so into the back loop single crochet all the way across Okay, so I'll meet you over here on the other side. So we did the back loop. We're at the other end. I'd like for you to, this last stitch, go through that again. Single crochet. So we are on the other side let's make sure it's not twisted okay so we are going to go on to the other side this was the one with the back loop because these are our single crochets so what we want to do is we want to go through the original chain and do a single crochet on that all the way around to the other side. So let's see here. Yep, we're going to go ahead and do that. Now remember the first one is always usually the hard one. So we're going through the V section of the original chain and just do a single crochet all the way to the other side okay so all the way around and I'll meet you over here we're almost done it's looking good isn't it <clears throat> so we want to duplicate what we did on the other side we have two in that end one which is our first one right here so let's do two single crochets in that same space Okay, we want one in the next. Now I'm, I'm pulling my, that wasn't supposed to be a half double crochet. I'm pulling my tension a little tight. That's the reason why it looks like it's all over the place. Plus the angle in front of this camera don't help much. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's start in that first stitch right there on the end single crochet then we're going to do the same thing we did before if you need to go back and review the video but we're going to single crochet up to the third one chain two go through the chain and the first part of the single crochet two single crochets and then come all the way down here to this half double crochet skip the slip stitch and repeat two more times and we will finish right here so go ahead and do that and I'll meet you at the end where we will place our face on after we cut out our felt pieces so let me show you what I'm going to do to weave in these gill ends I'm on the back side of the stitches and I'm going up 
those back side of those stitches here. Okay, and then I'm going to go over the one and go back down. And that's how I lock that in. I'll do it on both sides. All right, so I used a paper towel. Let me show you how I did the eye. Folded it in half, and then folded it in half lengthwise. And then I, the width here is about one quarter of an inch. The height is about half an inch. And I drew a line to create a curve. I couldn't get exactly the oval oval I wanted. Maybe this will look a little bit better. Yeah, that might look a little bit better. And then when you open it, yeah, that's what I was looking for. You have an oval right here. So we're going to cut out two of those. And then for the mouth, I laid it here in half and drew a line to curve. Now the length that I covered is three inches. So from this over three inches and the height from this line to this line Okay, I know my ruler is not going to tell you 100%, is one inch. So from the top of this line to the top of this line is one inch. So drop down and curve. Okay, and once you get it to where you like it, then open it up. Now remember our line here? This is going to help cover this. Okay. So let's go ahead and cut these out in black. And then we'll move on to the next step. Also, in the meanwhile, get your hot glue gun plugged in and ready to be used. Now this is what I did to lay it out. I'm placing it right down here. If you want, you could use straight pins to hold it down, or you can just hold it with your fingers and cut it out. Two eyes, one mouth. So let me show you what fun I'm going to have. Okay, I have a straight edge, so I'm going to line it up to that straight edge. And then come over here and get me another straight edge. Now the rest is filling in or cutting out along that line. Also, I didn't use a real cheap, thin felt. I used one that was a little bit up in price because it is thicker. I wanted the thicker one so that when you cut felt you don't have all these real bad fraying straggly ends and stuff. It looks solid. Okay now I do see a few errors that I will go ahead and trim. If I had a Cricut it would be nice but at this point in the game I don't. So a little trimming here and there so that it looks proper. And let's trim this a little bit more. Okay, we got one eye. Our little guy's coming together, huh? All right, so let's pull out the white yarn. And we're gonna put some little eyes on him. Uh, if I have the wrong needle, we will soon find out, huh? <laughs> okay, so, doesn't matter. Go ahead and poke a hole in there. Looks like I got the wrong needle. I need one with a sharp point on it. 
Uh, so let's use the proper tapestry needle. Basically, we're going to just draw a little straight line, go through it twice, and then put the ends in the back, and we'll end up gluing them down. All right, so I found me a thinner needle. You can see the size difference. So let's see, I poked a hole in here to make sure it would work. There it is. Okay, so just leave a little. We can cut that later. Then I'm going to come over here. So there's one. Let's go through those holes one more time. Making sure we don't um, separate the yarn. There we go. No knots. We're going to glue those down. Okay, and let's do the same to the other side. This time we're going to come up from behind so that we have one on one side and one on the other. This is the fun part, lining them up. Okay, so <laughs> I guess I'm going to go back to using that hole I had and should be the same area. Okay, so let's go through this twice and we will move on to gluing our eyes down next. So as you can see, my glue gun is this short little plug-in one. I kind of wish I had a wireless one but we're good. So, before we glue anything down, the first thing we want to do is to make sure that we have our lines lined up. Okay? Remember how we want to cover where we started our new row? And this covers quite a bit. So, this small section here, you really won't notice it that much. The upper hump will go through to the center of our magic circle. Okay. And let's make sure that we're about in the same place on each row. Okay, that looks that looks pretty straight to me. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's get to gluing. So we want to make sure that it's in location where we want it. So I'm going to suggest raise it, put some glue at the center top, and press it down. Let it bond. Then we're going to take this side and put glue a portion of the way, let it drop naturally, and press it down. You don't want to put glue all in one for the length that this mouth is. I mean, if you feel like it, you can, but that's not my suggestion. So put down in sections and keep your glue right here in the middle and then hold it for just a second or two while it bonds <clears throat> and you don't want it to do like what I just did see if I can yeah I got it okay you don't want it, the glue to come out from under the end. Well, I fixed it anyway. Okay, so that's stuck on there. 
Okay, let's go to our other side. All right, that looks good. Now, I use a paper towel to clean my tip off. You don't want to have, um, you know, dirty tip that'll leave your um, glue markings everywhere. So here I'm going to go ahead and glue these other pieces down. This glue is hot. I do not want to put my fingers on it. <clears throat> now if you had like a popsicle stick or something like that that would work too so let's glue these ends down and that'll help everything to be nice and firm and solid when we do glue everything else down all right so we want to decide Ooh, I just burned myself <laughs> Okay, so we want to decide where we want them. Do we want them, since we have the camera in front of us, do we want them to go slightly in at an angle? Do you want them straight up and down? But to be honest with you, I think going in at an angle is kind of cute. What do you think? You like that? I like that too. <clears throat> so we want to place them in the same approximate location. And since I'm looking at this, at an angle I'm not straight up and down on it I guess I need to stand up and then we can go ahead and glue them down this one's where I want it to be so I'm gonna go ahead and put glue right here because I know that's gonna hold it and then to line up for the other eye I'm gonna stand up and look at it Alrighty. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. That looks like it's about right. Oh, we want to slide it over just a little. Okay. The nice thing too about this felt is that it, since it's so thick, <clears throat> you can't really feel the full heat through it, but trust me, it's hot. <laughs> All right, don't forget to clean the tip off and turn it off because we're done using the hot glue gun. And we'll let this cool down just a little bit. And then we're gonna use that blue yarn I was telling you about earlier because we're gonna put little lines under here, I guess the kawaii cheeks. Now these little cheek things that we're gonna do is optional. It's just gonna have just a little line right there. Or I think they're cute just the way it is. But let's go ahead, we'll not secure it. So let's go ahead and put a little, little cheek look under here. If it don't look right, we can always take it out. So, let's see what we got here. I came up under the center of the eye. I might as well go down in the hole right here. Well, let's, so that it'll stay straight. Go in, in the stitches. 
<clears throat> Yarn fell off my needle, of course. What do you think? Do you like that? I think it looks better without it. Okay, so I'm going to leave the yarn off. That completes our bag. What do you think? Now, if your gills are a little stiff, stretch the stitches, okay? Because, you know, when you crochet them, you're putting it in. Stretch those stitches, and that'll help it to lay flat. So, I hope you enjoyed this crochet tutorial on how to make this little axolotl purse or handbag. I'm sure a little child or somebody would love to put their treasures in it. So, thank you for being with me. Until next time, bye-bye. And if you want, please subscribe to my channel. I have more interesting uh, videos in my channel. And I will have more coming up. Bye-bye.